I'm very pleased to once again talk with our good friend, Sherry Hamanko, who is the executive director of the Miss Greater Hazleton Scholarship Organization. And Sherry, I cannot believe that it has been a decade already for this wonderful organization. You were recently recognized at the state capitol in Harrisburg. Yes, we were. Uh, every year we arrange a trip for our title holders to go to the state capitol, meet with their state representatives, learn about government, and they are recognized for their service within the community and presented certificates by their uh, representatives and uh, recognized on the House floor. But little did I know this year I was going to be the one surprised with the citation recognizing Miss Greater Hazleton Scholarship Organization's 10-year anniversary. So thank you very much to uh, state representatives, Dean Watro and Mike Cabell for this. It was greatly appreciated and uh, we appreciate all you do for helping nonprofits like ours in the community. So tell us about your nonprofit organization because that's an amazing achievement that you have been around for 10 years. So tell us all about the organization. Our organization is a scholarship organization, youth mentoring organization that promotes uh, service and uh, talent and education within the community. So our biggest thing is to get uh, our youth involved in service because they are the leaders of tomorrow. And without them, a lot of the events and activities we have going on in the community won't continue without them. Now you're doing a big fundraiser that you do each and every year, and that gets bigger and better every year. <laughs> it is the Hazel Township Fall Festival and Trail of Treats happening Saturday and Sunday, October 21st and 22nd from 11 to 5 at Hazel Township Community Park. So give us the lowdown. What's going to be happening? Because I hear it's even bigger and better than last year. Well, we have a lot of different activities being added on for this year, which is really fun. Uh, uh, we have the number one attraction voted on by the people from the Bloomsburg Fair. Baby goat snuggling coming. They will be there on Saturday from 12 to 4. Uh, we have free face painting this year, along with balloon twisting. We have a prize wheel. We'll have a craft stand. Pumpkin decorating both days, first come, first serve, along with tricky trays, instant bingo. Uh, and of course, we'll have our scavenger hunt with the trail of treats. Uh, this year for the costume contest, that will be taking place both days on both Saturday and Sunday via photo booths. So you don't have to be present to win. And uh, we will have definitely an overall uh, group winner. And we will have... Um, I believe at least two uh, single costume winners and each of them will receive a uh, gift certificate of some sort to Kalahari. The main part of the trail of treats is on Sunday, but we will have some treat bags available on Saturday for those kids that would not be able to participate on Sunday due to maybe some uh, activities or parents working or whatnot. We try to be as inclusive as possible, but just to get a word out there that the main day for the trail of treats is Sunday, but we will have some stuff available on Saturday. Why is this event so important to your organization? You know what? It's our way of giving back to the community. The event was started at the beginning of COVID when Halloween was being canceled for the kids. They, the recommendations were do not go trick-or-treating uh, door to door, but you could be outdoor social distancing in the park. And um, there were a lot of businesses, uh, food trucks and whatnot that were harmed during the pandemic with events being canceled. So we thought, why not do a social distancing event in the park? And it we had a great hit that year and, you know, everybody was safe and respectful. And since then, uh, we've continued it and we're entering our fourth year, uh, thanks to the demand and responsiveness of the vendors and participants. So, you know, it's our way of giving back and being part of the community. And we appreciate what everyone does and for coming out to support us. And then, of course, the monies raised help make your organization possible and help you to have the scholarship competition each and every year. Agreed. But, uh, you know, along with helping us, uh, you know, we also help other nonprofits in the community. For example, the Hazel Township Fire and Rescue does traffic control, but they also conduct a boot drive. So that's your way of helping your local fire department who, you know, helps to 
uh, save your houses if there's a fire or some type of accident that goes on. There's different nonprofits in the park that are raising funds or creating awareness for their organization and networking, connecting with other people. And then, of course, there's the vendors and small businesses where they may have had another event during the year that what didn't go too well or, you know, it hurt their uh, end budget. And this event might help them pull out in, you know, the black versus the red. Very well said. So it's helping out the entire community and it's bringing a lot of joy to all the kids <laughs> in the area. Again, this is the big Hazel Township Fall Festival and Trail of Treats, Saturday and Sunday, October 21st and 22nd, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hazel Township Community Park. More on their Facebook page, more on their website. You can get all the details, but the most important thing, get your costume, get the kids, get the family, get the friends, and come on out and have a great time. Right, Sherry? October 21st and 22nd from 11 to 5 in Hazel Township Community Park, 37 Pecora Boulevard. We'll see you there.